In this video, I want to show you how to perhaps locate the uh, transactions that might be coming up in the next uh, 30 days or in the next uh, 60 days or in the next 90 days. So notice how in this case we have flight type of data. So each line is a different flight. Each row is a, each column is a different field. Notice how in column A I have the flight date. So if we're, in order for this one to work, you have to have some kind of date field and any kind of date field will work. So let's come over here to column K and we're gonna put a calculation here. I'll say uh, equals that date that's in column A minus today's date. We're gonna use a function that's called today in Excel that does represent today's date. And the first one has 12. I'm recording this on uh, April 21st, 2014. I'm gonna copy that down with the speed fog, the black cross and double click. So you can see some of them are, you know, coming up pretty soon. Some are a little bit, all, you know, going to be in the future a bit. So at that point, what you do is you do conditional formatting. So I want to highlight column K, and I'll pick on conditional formatting. And we're going to say highlight cells, and I want to say between two numbers. So if it's between 0 and 30 days, uh, I want to make those to be red. Uh, actually, in this case, we'll use uh, maybe the, the light red fill with the dark red text. Okay, and we'll click on OK. And you can really see that if I scroll down on column K, the ones that are between 0 and 30 days are now in red. They easily stand out. Now, let's say if they're between 30 and 60 days, then I want those to be a different color. So I'm going to highlight column K again. We'll do conditional formatting. We'll say highlight cells, and then we'll say between. In this case, we'll say if it's between 31 and 60 days, then perhaps I want those to be yellow. And we'll click on OK. And now we see some yellow ones as well because they're between 30 and 60 days. And then I'll highlight column K one more time, and I'll say conditional formatting highlight cells between and in this case I'll say between 61 and 90 days and I'm going to make those to be green and we'll click on OK so now if I just click on a different cell notice in column K we know that the ones in red are going to be between 0 and 30 days. The ones that are in yellow are uh, between 31 and 60 days out and the ones in green are between 61 and 90 days out. Now notice how some of the cells are not formatted because those are even more than 90 days out. So pretty quickly I was able to determine which records uh, are coming up. Uh, you know I can see that the ones in red are really coming up uh, in the next uh, month or so because of conditional formatting. So you started off with a date field. We had to calculate the number of days uh, until that date. So we put a formula here equals A2 minus today, which is really going to be today's date, the current date. And then when I copy that down, each record now has the number of days uh, until that flight. And then from there, I was able to do conditional formatting to make the one stand out between 0 and 30 days between 31 and 60 days and between uh, 61 and 90 days. And that's a great way to indicate which records might be coming up uh, in the near future.